All right, so we're we're getting right into the action because we, uh, if you remember last time when we when we stopped playing, uh, I was trying to beat this dude, this this guy with the cape, you know, this dude, this doohickey, and uh, he's a jerk. See, see, see how see how jerky he is. So we were trying to beat him, and we were having some troubles because. Uh, well, he's kind of a jerk. Um, he has this counter attack that is really frustrating. Ba basically, the problem I was having was he has this ability to counter attack, and sometimes he he charges up this like beam, right? And then he shoots it, and it does half of your health. But then, if I have somebody that is attacking when he uses the beam, then it's like he uses the beam, my person attacks, and then he counterattacks, and then we die. So I just had to play it a little more safe because I was trying to kill him quickly and getting wrecked. So, um, but before we do that, I thought what might be fun is to go do a little more of the battle arena and see if there's anything special going on there. Um, because it's been a while since we've done it. So let's do that, and then we'll come back and beat big old doofus head over here. Also, um, <laughs> I get this question all the time. Uh, what happens if you leave Diamond Weapon there? He just stands there and waits for you. You, you could like do whatever you want. he will just stand there until you go over and fight him. And every time you go to the world map, it'll, it'll play the theme. What are these guys doing here? I'm gonna use all my life savings. I guess they're normally there. This, <laughs> this mod always throws me for a loop because if I were normally playing the game, I would walk past there and be like, oh yeah, there's those guys. But since I'm playing the mod, I'm always thinking in my head like, is that new? Are they normally there? What's going on? <laughs> and as many times as i played this game, I still don't know everything. So sometimes I see people staying there and I'm like, are they supposed to be there? Are they not supposed to be there? Also, I read some, somebody said that this person is always here that sells the GP, which is pretty cool. You don't have to make them spawn. And I think you can get more GP now, right? I don't know. Same amount. Oh, we got some GP. We can do some battling. Let's see if he comes back. Oh, that's right. I still need to take it. I ain't got enough money for the uh, lifetime pass yet. Yep. He just stays there, I guess. That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Now, last time I did this, I did it with Yuffie. Um, because Yuffie is kind of broken. Um, I'm not sure who I want to do it with now. Ooh, look at that glare. Look at that glare. What the? I think the sun is like just on the very edge of my window. And it's just beaming in. I don't know if I can fix that because my my blinds are already closed. I wonder what happened if I open my blinds. That would help. Oh god! Oh god, it's worse! I made it worse! Can you see me? <laughs> Am I alive? So call for help. This big old giant. It looks like it looks like I'm being attacked by Genova or something. Like you know, like when she uses that attack and the screen turns like purple. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm divine. It is time to play some Final Fantasy. Seymour, Seymour, help me fix the Seymour. Come back, Seymour. Hey, 
Two more. Two more. Hey. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. So I just want you to stop listening. See more. See more. Get your butt over here. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I don't just talk to the air here. Okay. I talk to you. Can you take the No, no. Come back here. Don't you? Don't you go in the bathroom? Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Okay, so I guess we'll just play in the, in the sun. Okay. These blinds suck. They're just the worst blinds ever. If you want to be blind, get these blinds. Can I like... Wait, okay, wait. Fight. Alright. I just have to hold my hand right here. If I hold my hand right here, the glare goes away. Just hold my hand right here. And I'll just... I'll just, <laughs> I'll just play like this. Wait, what if I do this? Like this. Wait, I think it's gone now. I fixed it. I fixed it with my with my mind powers. Something. Okay, so um, should I do it with Yuffie again? I feel like well, I feel like Cloud is kind of useless. You know, cause like, cause he he gets he gets abilities or he gets stats based on what your teammates do, but he's alone, so that's not really helpful. Um, I'm thinking either Red Thirteen or Yuffie. Maybe Yuffie. Oh, she's dead. That's cool. No, that's fine. Just be dead and stuff. Um, probably the gem ring is what I want. Jam and Infinite is now hosting my stream. Thanks a bunch. Most ice. Strength plus 15. in here even though I probably won't use summons very much I'll just get bombs here that's it all right uh, actually 
actually... Oh, that's fine. Alright, we're good to go! Now let's see if we can actually win. Oh no wait, I need points first. I hate, I hate how you need points to check what's in the thing. It's really annoying. Holy crap, I have a lot of GP. When did I get so much GP? I don't even, I don't even remember this. I don't even remember this. <laughs> Confirmed. Killed the sun. He literally killed the sun. Okay, this is new. Oh, what is this? It was a freaking death sentence. That's fair. I only bought a hundred. I didn't buy six hundred. <laughs> my memory isn't that bad. Literally bought it like two minutes ago. My memory is pretty bad though, I'm always forgetting crap. So does my death sentence go away now? Guess not. Uh Oh, it does go away. Sweet. I was gonna say. Yeah, the music's different. I like this music a lot better. Actually, wasn't it? Was it different last time, too? I don't remember. I, don't, I think it was always this time. some damage. That is some damage. How's the game sound, by the way? Because I turned down the game sound um, Wednesday because we were playing something with really loud... It's really loud for some reason. So I might turn the game sound back up just slightly. I'll do that now. I'm just going to turn it up. Turn it up just a little bit. <laughs> Everyone says sound is perfect and then I just turned it up a little bit. Maybe I should turn it back down. Holy crap. You got enough MP, dude? Or HP? Everything P? You got enough P? You have a dog named Ernie? That's like the best dog name ever. So, for those of you who are new to the new threat mod, the reason that Yuffie seems to just be completely overpowered for the battle arena is because her... Um, first of all, she has a ridiculous dexterity stat just off the bat and then um, she also um, she also has a innate ability that um, every time like someone tries to attack her with a physical attack she gets more physical attack uh, evasion and every time someone uses a magic attack on her, she gets more magic attack evasion. So, by the end of this, she just becomes, like, ridiculously difficult to hit.
Also, draining my MP is not cool. I do not approve. Do not approve of that. You also had a dog named Ernie? I, I did not realize that Ernie was such a popular dog name. Oh crap. Okay, good. Very good. Oh no! Not good. Dang, dude. They don't screw around. Uh. Well, I probably should have put her in sadness for one thing. Ah crap! I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Can I even do it with him? I don't really have, like, anything with him. I don't even have, like, a heal or anything. I have... God. Yeah, this ain't gonna work out. I'll just use Shiva and then quit. <laughs> That's my plan. Use Shiva, quit. My feels go out to all the, uh... All the missing dogs. I've never had a dog, so I've never had to deal with a dog death before, but I had a cat when I was younger that died, and that was kind of sad. It was sad because he died so slowly. He was like, he slowly went off the rocker, you know. Would have been better if it just kind of happened and we could have kind of moved on, but he like slowly got worse and worse. But I was younger, so I didn't, you know, it didn't affect me as much. And I didn't know him for that long. I, because my dad got him way before I was born, so he was already old when I was young. I didn't know him that long. I think he died when I was like six or seven or something. Other than that, my parents never let me have an animal, so when I was growing up, like in high school and middle school and whatnot, I never had a, never had an animal, so. And I got Seymour when I moved into this house with my wife, so we've only had him for a year. Now somebody said on my last stream that Yuffie's dodging potential kind of gets worse and worse as the game goes on because the enemies get better percentage of hit whereas like the the earlier enemies in the game only have like a whatever like I don't know what the percentage would be but maybe like a 60 or 70 percent chance to hit or something so when Yuffie has like a ridiculous evasion stat it ends up being like 10 percent or something um Ooh, this isn't good. I'm actually gonna break my... Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I think I'll break my accessory. So, um... Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so now that we're later on in the game... 
things have like a because the, the way that the percentage stat works in this game I don't know exactly but I know if you have 255 attack percent that means that you'll always hit so anything below 255 is like a hundred percent chance to hit unless they have an evasion stat so I think like everything at this point probably has like 200 or something hit percentage, but who knows? I don't, I don't know for sure. I'd have to look it up. But it's definitely higher than it was, so you'd be having a harder time dodging things. What is it with parents and just, like, dealing with animals without telling the children? Like, it's not the first time I've heard that story. Like, it happens a lot. I don't understand. Like, don't parents understand that the kids probably like the animals more than they do? Like, like for us as adults, animals are just kind of, like, I mean, yeah, we can get very emotionally attached to animals, but kids even more so get attached with animals. They're like their best friend when they're younger. So how could you how could you possibly put down an animal without telling your child? That just seems so ridiculous. I like but it's like I said, it's not the first time I've heard it. Like it seems to happen all the time. Parents like don't understand. It makes no sense. <laughs> my 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 stream has turned into sad dog stories. What is going on? I'm getting glare again. Go away, Glare! Where do I... Oh! Uh, 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 I almost had it. Where is it? Somewhere... Oh! Uh, there it is! I got it! Die, son! Yeah, that's another good point, too. Like, it's a great opportunity to teach your child about life and death. Something that's very hard to teach your child about, and sucks when you have to teach them when a family member dies. So for an animal to die first, it gives you the opportunity to be like, okay, to, to give them a, an understanding of death before someone in your family actually passes. It's like, parents are just like, nah, Ernie's gone. It's awful. Um, I'm actually gonna do half speed because Yuffie's already so dang fast anyways. should have. I got plenty of others now. Although it might actually be better just uh, Osmos. But I want to try to kill one of these guys first. If I can just kill one of them then I won't be too worried about dying. Alright, Comet does not do much damage to them for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Seems like last time they all just kind of used their like strongest magic attack all at the same time, and that's why I died. Plus this doofus is stealing my MP, which sucks. Oh, that was actually HP, but he missed. I wish I had wall. Although I guess I do have big guard, I probably should have used that instead. But magic barrier works. trying to kill one of them. Right, this fight's going a lot better this time. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for all the damage that came out of nowhere last time. Get out of here, son! We're just gonna... Yeah, just pretend like it's my aura or something. It's like my magic. Okay, maybe the green was MP. Okay. It looked like HP because it was green. Oh, I guess in this game, red is usually HP and green is usually MP. Oh, the credit. How much work do they have? Jeez. Holy crap. I 
just wanted to kill one. Haha! Out of MP. Sucks to be you. Ow, sucks to be me. I don't know why I did that, I should have healed. Now I'm in trouble. I think I'll be alright. Please don't use Bolt 2. If the other one uses Bolt 2, I'm in trouble. Right, Please die. Holy crap. Is it me or is regen better in this mod? I swear it's like healing me way more. Maybe that's why they moved it to after Cure 3, because it's actually like really good in this mod. Son? Son! Stop it! Alright, I finally killed one. Give me my MP back. Too powerful. I can't control my my aura any longer. It's just spilling out into the internet. This whole stealing MP thing needs to stop. Please die. Luckily this middle dude is just screwed. He doesn't have any MP. All he can do is swing and miss. Uh, just gonna take a chance here. Just try to kill him. In order to heal, I'm gonna need to throw another and then heal. So... Just gonna try to kill him before his bolt kills me. Right, that's that's a little scary. I'm just gonna use high potion. Again. Die. Crap. Double crap. I would have been so mad if, like, that time he hit me. <laughs> Holy crap. Even the living is so friggin' powerful. Alright. I was actually kind of hoping it didn't kill him. says you don't have any MP to steal, but can I still steal MP from you? That <laughs> only gave me 12. Alright. Probably should have used regen first. Ah, oh, crap! Did that give me Reflect? Son of a... 
Well, this wouldn't be the first time I gave the enemy a regen. Would not be the first time. I'd just like everyone to know that I hate my life. Just real talk. I hate my life. I don't know what it is about Reflect where I just always forget I have it. I wish there was like a thing. Like why isn't there like a, a third little bar here that says like Reflect? You know? <laughs> that is a classic Death Unites Us move. Just give the enemy everything. Uh. And I can't even like check to see if I have Reflect. I have to go into the menu and like cast something on myself. I still have it. Well, this is going to be interesting. I got plenty of high potions though. Honestly, having Reflect is probably really good. As long as I just throw high potions. Especially if I break my materia anyways. Can this guy die? Hello. I sure have plenty of health. What is this? How does he magically use this now? It's been like 87 turns, he never used this attack. He probably only uses it when he's low. Holy crap, that healed a lot. I was not ready. Do I still have Reflect? Oh my god. I... I don't even know how I'm gonna kill this dude. Okay, good, he missed. Listen, the time is now. John Cena. Comet to the face. Yeah, there you go. That's how we do it. Now, if I remember correctly, breaking my command materia doesn't really get me any points. So I'm just going to do Lucky 7 if I can. Oh, this, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, wait, I have Reflect. Ha <laughs> ha! Frog song on yourself. I knew Reflect was a good idea. I knew it. I called it. Let's hope this also reflects, because if it doesn't, I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. This is not good. I don't even know what my remedies are. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I got to somehow... Okay, I have to kill this dude. As long as I kill this dude, I'll be good. I don't know why that didn't turn me into a frog, by the way. I have no idea why that didn't turn me into a frog. But this guy has to die immediately. Yeah, Petrify Frog is probably like the worst ability in the game. Also, what was that laser beam the frog just hit me with? What was that? What is that attack? Also, he's not dying and that's bad. Cuz just donated. Oh god, I'm dead. Son of a biscuit! Kez just donated a hundred dollars! Thank you so much! Now I'm not even sad for dying. Oh look, another incentive I managed to finish off. <laughs> Hashtag trolling. Hashtag death rules. Thank you so much. And yes, you finished our uh, donation incentive. So you know what? Since I'm so excited for the next donation incentive, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it real quick. There we go. 
Tifa cross dressing stream? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Um, so I guess we're giving her a ribbon. I wasn't going to, but that's gonna be. Because I wanted to give her haste and, and barrier and stuff, but. If they're gonna be throwing petrified frog at me, then I better just put on a ribbon. So, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. And now I finally get the chance to. Um, the next donation incentive is going to be pretty awesome. Um, what it's going to be is we are going to, together, create an RPG. Um, so basically what we're going to do is I'm going to, when we hit the donation incentive, I'm going to buy RPG Maker. And together we're going to create an RPG together on the stream. Um, I will be, I'll have the um, RPG Maker up and I will create the RPG and you guys will help me, give me input on, uh, you know, what goes into the RPG. Now, I have a story already. Um, I have a plot that I've, that I've been working on. Um, that's what I've been working on for a little while now uh, in preparation for it. Um, it is a novel that I started to write a few years ago and then quit writing uh, in favor of some other ideas. Um, plus, I just don't think it translated the paper very well, um, my ideas that I had. Oh, you know what? Not worth. <laughs> I wanted frog. I got broke my friggin' ribbon. Um, so it's a novel I wrote a long time ago, and uh, I started to write it. I wrote, I wrote pretty much the whole map for it, and then wrote the first few chapters, and then quit. But uh, I will describe the story more in depth, maybe another time. Although I guess I could now. Um, it's called the White Room, and uh, so the goal will be we will work together to create the RPG. Um, I'll have input from you guys, maybe even some donation incentives, like you know you can have a character in the game, or you can design a level, or something like that. Uh, and then. When we're finally done with the whole thing, you know, we'll work together on it for however long it takes, and uh, we'll finish the RPG, and then I will um, publish the RPG, and then release it for everyone to play. So you can all play the RPG that we worked, you know, weeks on to create. So that would be really cool, and I might even do like a, um, I was thinking about doing, I don't know if I want to do it or not, um... But I thought about maybe doing like a uh, pay what you want kind of thing for the RPG. So when it's finally done, I'll put it up for free uh, so everyone can just play it when it's done. Um, but then, like, I'll have like a. Oh, crud. This sucks. I'll take half MP. Um, I wonder if. Um, but you can like pay what you want for it, so you can either get it for free, or you could pay a dollar or two for it or something, and then I'll collect all the money that the RPG raises, and I'll use it for something special, either I'll like, maybe donate half of it to charity, or, um, we'll use all the money together to buy something for the stream, or something like that. But yeah, it should be, um, it should be really cool. Um... I'm really excited for it. I think it, I think it'll be so much fun to create an RPG together. Um, the story that I have written um, leaves a lot of blank space, especially in the middle of the game. So if anyone wanted to donate to like design an entire level or an entire section of the game, they could. Um, I really only have the core story and then like the beginning and the end planned out, and the rest of it is kind of up to interpretation so um, and I, I don't know which RPG maker I'll buy I think I want to buy XP which is the same one I gave away a couple days ago because um, it looks pretty nice and it's reasonably priced some of the 
some of the better RPG makers are like super overpriced, but they're not really anything I would know what I'm doing with anyways. Oh, uh, what is this? I'm getting some terrible, uh... Handicaps here. completely missed the other guy. But... Yeah, I have that one MP. Or zero, actually. I used to work with, um, when I was younger, and I was starting to get into, like, game design, because I thought I might want to be a game designer. Um, I thought about... Hey, Jonas also donated $20. Let's get this RPG making process underway. He's already pumped. Thank you, Jonas. I appreciate that a lot. Um... So yeah, when I was, when I was uh, younger and I thought about getting into RPG creating, um... I played around with like one of the original RPG makers, I think it was like RPG Maker 2003 or something. Um, and that was really funny. Um, oh, he just used... He just used that on himself. He just drained his own MP. Good one. Luckily that dude silenced too. I just need to get rid of this guy. the best part. Come on! Just die already. Oh, the other thing about um, the White Room, the story that I wrote for the RPG, is it's very up to um, interpretation for characters as well. I only have three characters designed for the game, or for the the story. Um, there's the main character and then his kind of sidekick, but not really because they're... The, sidekick is a bad word. They they both go through the adventure together. So there's two guys, but there's one main guy. And then um, there's a girl that they meet later. Um, so those are the only three characters. And then any other character they, they meet could be completely anything. So that'll also help for um, for people wanting to design their own characters or having like ideas for characters or whatever. And I don't want to make it a um, just to kind of elaborate a little more. Um, I don't want to make it a like you have to donate to be part of the game if that makes sense. I want it to be like a group effort. I have this I have the plot written, but that's it. So like everything else that goes into the game, I want it to be like a uh, community built game. I want everyone's input, everyone work together to create the game. That way when it's done, we all feel like we created it together and when you play it you feel like you were a part of it, you know what I mean? So it's not gonna be like a I sit here and design a game and if you wanna be a part of it you have to donate ten dollars or something like it's gonna be nothing like that. If you wanna donate to have like your own character or something or do something specific like you could totally do that but that's not really like the goal I'm going for I want it to be more like a community driven kind of thing if that makes sense I think it'll be better that way I think I think with you know 
20 or 30 minds putting the game together rather than just my mind, I feel like it'll turn out to be something really cool. These guys should be dying from poison at some point. So I'm just going to throw others. Death Unites just plays World of Final Fantasy is my favorite TV show. I enjoy playing World of Final Fantasy even though it's total, total garbage. Because we all get to talk about how garbage it is. And we get to talk about the characters that we find and everything else, you know? Do that. See you in two hours, Tommy Tucker. <laughs> Available now in an RPG. Yeah, see, so three, two, one, star in the sky. She could be the uh, the spokesperson for the game. She could be the one that sells all the copies. You know, we'll make it, and then she'll be the the advertising agency to sell it. And I might even, um, as we're creating it, I'll come up, I'll do like different drafts and put those up, you know, on Google Drive or something so that we can, oh my, what is this? Why am I getting nothing but HP and MP? I don't want to do HP, but I really don't want to do MP again either. Wow. Rip me. I guess... Honestly, it doesn't matter too much because uh, I'm probably going to end up breaking my materia near the end anyways, so who cares how much MP I have? 4-8 promotion. Yeah, that's supposed to be one word, 4-8 promotion. I remember I used to get so mad <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger and I had, um, I was starting 4-8 Productions and stuff, I always used to get people, like, I used to get so mad at people when they didn't put 4-8 Productions as one word. YouTube still doesn't get it. Oh, dang it, I realized I just casted. See, this ribbon thing is so obnoxious. You can't even put regen on yourself. You, you literally can't have anything affecting your character. Holy crap, dude. That Tadpolo attack. I don't know if I should attack... I don't, I don't even know what to do. I think I should probably attack the frogs. Because they're honestly doing the most damage. Holy crap. This is gonna do, but I'm hoping it at least poisons them. Poison and confusion would be great. Alright, that works. Oh, I didn't mean to use Conlon, but that's alright. That'll do a lot of damage. Maybe. Holy crap, it did. did a lot more damage than I thought. Now all they can do is frog jab, I think. Wait, why are they healing from poison? That's not cool. What the? God, those frog jabs do a lot of damage. Well, I don't know if I can kill these frogs now. They're healing like crazy.
Oh, they could still use that even though they're silenced? I guess it is a skill, but... Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, this battle arena is no friggin' joke, let me tell you. Alright, I think Yuffie... I think maybe Yuffie was a bad idea. I think I'm gonna go with Red 13. Red 13's ability is that he gets stronger as the fight goes on, so obviously he should be pretty pretty great for the battle arena. Dang, dude, that crystal cone. No joke. Maybe I should get something with a little more magic defense. Could do this. Could do the diamond bangle. I could do the wizard bracelet, which is literally the same thing, but with magic and magic defense instead of strength and strength defense. I guess I'll try that. Counter-attack might not be a bad idea. I could do magic counter, but I don't want to run out of MP. Yeah, I'm just going to do counter-attack. 